hey, if you are a black business owner, this is for you. Stop nickel and diming your consumers. If you have a, a, a restaurant or whatever, or service, stop overcharging. When you do that, it presents as a poverty mentality. <clears throat> as they say, it's giving, I need to overcharge because I'm afraid that I'm not going to get more people in. Let me tell you what I, somebody did to me. There's a black owned restaurant not too far from here. And so I was like, you know what kids, it's not even a sit down restaurant, just mom and pop. And I said, look, y'all, what do y'all want? And they were like, oh, we want some mac and cheese. I was like, cool. They said, so we put in our order, two large mac and cheeses and two large fruit punch. Do you know how much it came to? $43. And when I say a large, it wasn't even gigantuan. It was like, like this. I was thinking to myself, hell, I could have gone to Food Lion and gotten some Stouffer's mac and cheese for on a large family size one for $17. But you know what? I was like, no, we're going to support. But I'll never go back. I'll never go back. You're not going to rape and pillage me for my money. I don't care if you're a black business, white, Latino, Asian, a Martian. You're not going to use me like that. So, yes, we should support black businesses, but black businesses... Y'all got to do better with your nickel and diamond of people. My second critique with black businesses is if we're going to support and uplift one another, you got to have people, customer service. So we, you got to do better with your customer service. The bottom line is some of your, 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 some of your workers have a nasty attitude. And it's exhausting. And they, 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 can I help you? <sighs> Come on. You, you, you. I asked for an extra napkin and you're like, oh my God. I'm like, little bitch, give me a napkin. I just spent $43 for two mac and cheeses and a fruit punch. You have got to train your people. Don't do that. When people utilize your services, they should feel welcomed and honored. Not like a burden. You make people not want you and it gives, it just, all it does, it, it, it relegates the stereotype or stamps the stereotype that black people, the service is bad. They got an attitude. They always late. Stop it. When people come in your presence, they should be better because of having been there. When they come in your establishment, they should be better because of having been in your establishment. Y'all, we got to do better. If we're going to uplift each other businesses and services, I don't want to walk in there and feel like uh, I'm a burden to you. And if you don't know how to train people, hire professional trainers. Hey, hi, I'll come train. And guess what? When I, my, my feet, it won't rape and pillage you. Okay. But you got to stop high, stop hiring subpar people. I don't care if it's your sister, your brother, your mother. If her attitude is funky or his attitude is nasty, leave his ass at home. This is a place of business. Separate business and pleasure. My last critique is um, make sure your establishment looks up to par. I mean, it doesn't have to look like something in the Taj Mahal, but damn, vacuum your carpets in your establishment. Make it look good. Clean. Let it smell good. Let it be welcoming. If you have a receptionist, when, when someone walks in, they should be smiling, not on their phone, scrolling, doing their nails, popping on the phone, talking about the club. Come on. <laughs> do better. We got to do better. Okay? So one way we're going to uplift um, black individuals and, and one another is supporting black businesses. But in supporting, do better. <laughs>